welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K18, my GM with the OKC Thunder. This is episode 33, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist in my channel. If you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to basically told whenever I come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this, um, click the thumbs, but thumbs up button. It basically tells me you want to see more videos just like this. And leave in the comments below. Um, so here we are for this January 8th game, um, almost halfway through the season, uh, almost all-star break, which is February 22nd. Um, we're going to be facing the Greek Freak and the Bucks here. And before I get started, it's kind of weird to me. Um, I'm re recording this video June 20th, and I was kind of, I guess I was freaked out because I found out that um, Dwight Howard would be actually going to the Nets in real life. And guess who's with the Nets here in my second season, which is technically the upcoming season is coming up. Dwight freaking Howard. What are the possibilities possibilities of him being there in NB2K and in real life? Um, granted, um, Mozgov is still on this team, but it's still weird to me that Dwight is going to be a Brooklyn Net, even though it's five years after Dwight Mayer. Uh, for those Net fans, you know who I'm talking about. And um, anyway, without further ado, Let's go to um, Milwaukee for this game, and this is going to be the first game with uh, Brogdon, Brogdon starting lineup and facing Rajon Rondo since the trade. Alright, here we are in Milwaukee. They are 20 and 16. Uh, trying to knock us off here, and let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Bucks. And it looks like this we got Rajon Rondo, Delvadova, the Greek Freak, Jabari Parker, and Thon Maker. Got a look. It's sort of the easy layup. It's a good way to start the game for Rondo, I mean for Westbrook and uh, Ivica. Paul George in the corner. Got it. That's a good three and a good look from Russell Westbrook. Look at Russell taking to the basket. Brogdon in the corner, a good shot. Got it. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Feated by the Pacers in the last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Eurostep. Look at Russell with a Eurostep on Jabari Parker. They didn't know what to do. Just stood there. Frozen. Oh, and there's Russell Westbrook putting Giannis on a poster. Kicks us in. And Henson sends it back. Hey, that reach of Henson remarkably long. Unbelievable. Foul and one. That's Jeremy Grant. With an and one. And the game plan with an all around superb talent. He is. I mean, he really moves that ball. Larry Clarkson, the good three. Larry Sanders cleans up the garbage. And the for the putback slam. Great job. Ooh, got him. Here comes a slam by Jordan Clarkson. Russell Westbrook with a reverse. What a dunk by Russell again. Right past Rajon Rondo without a problem. And he's in control of this game. In the corner, there you go. Hit that kill, Patrick. Thank you. Good steal. Let's go. In the corner again. Got it. That's back to back threes for Brogdon. Ooh, that's a good steal by Paul George. Taking to the Greek freak, and here comes Russell with the boom. And they just been so comfortable at both Good defense of turns the into better offense for the Thunder as Paul George gets the steal and Russell comes up with the slam. Step back three. Russell in the corner. Got it. That is 17 points in the first half for Russell Westbrook. And they're up by 16 now. Good look by Ivica. 
As the double team came to Russell, he gave it to Zubac, and Zubac gave it to Brogdon. Good look. There's a timeout by the Bucks. Three for Brogdon. Got it. That is 14 points for Brogdon. As Russell has a lot of confidence in him in the corner shots. Got him again, Paul George. Giannis cannot stop him right now. That is 15 points in the game so far. Ooh, what a block by Ibika. There you go, Tyreek taking it. Here comes Grant with a dunk. Good defense turns into better. Oh, what an all you by Rondo to Jabari. Here comes Russell with a slam. And the lead is now up to 24, and that's a timeout by the Bucks. And this is basically the game. I'm assuming the coach is going to put the bench in, but that's just an ass whipping that we gave them. It looks like Russell Russell is the player of the game with 30 points, 3 rebounds, 9 assists. Last shot. Um, but it looks like we win by, <laughs> okay, 23 after hitting that three. Very unsportsmanlike conduct, but we end up winning 23 after that. Uh, Clarkson three, and it looks like we found a way to start the Greek Freak, even though he did have, I think, 17 or 19 points. It took him a lot of shots to do it, and his uh, shooting percentage was just awful. Um, we took care of business nice and early. Uh, let's take a look at it. He shot 8 for 23 with 17 points. Only 4 rebounds. He did have the 7 assists though. But what I did was just force him to shoot. That's the way I was able to neutralize the Greek freak. Even though there's nobody as quick and as uh, you know as tall as he is on the team. Paul George, we had uh, Kilpatrick all just let him shoot. He uh, was making, he was barely making every shot. So barely shooting 40%. Um, but then here we go for the for the Thunder. Look at Russell Westbrook with a 30-10 game. Uh, Paul George was not shooting well from the three-point line. Obviously, one for 11, but he did have 25 points. All attacking the basket because they cannot stop him. Uh, Brogdon hitting six threes, seven and nine shooting. Uh, Jeremy Grant coming off the bench with a four four out of five game, and everybody really contributed. This is what I like. This is what I definitely like out of this team. And I forgot to mention that Russell Westbrook, perfect game basically, 13 of 13, 1-3, one, 1 out of 1 threes and 3 of 3 from the free throws. I'll take a look at the team comparison here with this shoot, 60% compared to the 46, hitting 11 threes uh, and 15 free throws. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tied at 11 uh, turnovers, he did have 8 blocks and uh, yeah, it was a well played game. I thought the Bucks would be a bit better in year two, but apparently not. Um, I was able to stop the Greek freak without, you know, without any hesitation. So I'm really happy for that. Um, please select the new GM badge facility or pitch. Um, let's do plus three offensive and defensive awareness for all players. Um, so the next game I'll probably play is, let's see, did I play against the Spurs? Oh, that's a game that I, for whatever reason, had no recording, I believe. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll play the Spurs the next game, so we're going to simulate this game against the Hornets. And knowing all this is probably going to be some sort of office deal. And we end up winning. Uh, Paul George with 25 points. Russell Westbrook with a 19, 9, and 11 game, almost a triple double. Clarkson with a 19, uh, 16 point game. Patterson with an 11 point game. Uh, Brogdon's only two points. Um, we're gonna simulate the team January 13th. And Pistons are trying to throw a trade at me. Patrick Patterson and Jordan Clarkson for Langston Galloway and Tobias Harris. Hell no, man. Ended up winning that game. Uh, 104 to 97. Russell Westbrook with a 28-5 game, but a three steals. Paul George, 16 points, nine rebounds, four assists. Uh, look at Zubac with a 12-13 game. What a beast. Um, 
gonna simulate this game against Portland. And, and, Sean Kilpatrick for Anuku and 20, uh, nah. And they're putting this game too. Wow, we are on a winning streak. And let's take a look at here. Russell Westbrook with a, uh, Paul George with a 32 point game, nine rebounds, two assists, two steals, one block. What a game. Russell Westbrook with a 28, nine and seven, almost another triple double. Sean Kilpatrick. Contributing with a 14-point game, as well as Jordan Clarkson, Brogdon, seven points, Zubac and Sanders, um, two rebounds, p oh, seven rebounds for Zubac and two rebounds for Sanders. All right, so now the next game we're playing is against the Spurs, and uh, we are taking care of business right now. We are first in the division and second in the conference. Um, let's take a look at stuff that's going on here. Uh, if anybody's unhappy with what's going on, Patrick McCaw, eh, Brogdon, Not too bad, all these are but coaches, mumbo jumbo. But uh, let's take a look at the injury to Stephen Adams. One to two more weeks, so that's going to be very interesting. Trying to balance all the, all the minutes out, uh, but it's going to be a very dominant minutes. In the big man position by La uh, by Zubac and by um, Stephen Adams, uh, upcoming free agents for the uh, next season. We got LeBron James. We got Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, uh, Nikola Jokic, uh, Jimmy Butler. This is actually not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all here. Uh, Alonzo, Dragic, Melo. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I want to see if we're gonna be able to get somebody uh, worth worth something. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, so you look at the standings now. As you see, we are two games above the Nuggets, ahead of the Nuggets rather, for the uh, Northwest Division. And we're 25 and 15, uh, 40 games in. So this is probably most likely what this uh, division is going to look like. We are six games behind the Warriors. Um, you know, that's not really a problem for me. We could be number two in the West to come out of the playoffs. I'm okay with that. Um, let's take a look at the East here. We still have the Nets who are 27 and 14 taking care of things, man. Very impressive. Uh, Miami is in second. Washington is in third. Cleveland's in fourth. Interesting. Um, so it's gonna wrap it up for this episode of my GM with the OKC Thunder. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Again, if you did, please click the thumbs up button. Leave in the comments below. I hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.